Hey, what's up guys, Victor with Phone Arena here and today I have an exciting little affordable phone to present to you. The Samsung Galaxy A3 2017 edition is up here for review on phonearena.com. Let's take a look. Now the A3 2017 is a surprisingly well-built compact phone. It looks almost exactly like the flagship Galaxy S7, yet it's a much more affordable phone. It features a glass back and a sturdy metal frame, overall combining for a very solid construction. Now the only difference with the S7 is the size and you also have the slightly different camera. It's a little bit smaller on the new A3 2017. It's almost flat with the surface, which is also nice. But this glass back, it's also a fingerprint magnet. So if you use the phone without a case, keep that in mind. Now in terms of build quality, Samsung has paid attention to detail. You can see that even little things like the buttons are very clicky, have a nice feedback and are made out of metal. You have this also side positioned loudspeaker, which is surprisingly nice and it's hard to muffle which is good. You also have a USB-C port for charging, which is a nice change from uh, micro USB. And you also have a 3.5 millimeter headset jack, which is missing on some devices, you know which ones. And the A3 2017 fits easily in a pocket, which is extremely comfortable. You almost forget it's there. Now, in terms of uh, display and other specifications, let's get started and see what it's all about. You have a 4.7 inch Super AMOLED display on the new A3. And this is part of what makes it compact. The screen has almost no bezel and it you would say now it's a 720p HD display. Is this really enough in the beginning of 2017 when we have quad HD phones and even 4k phones? Well the answer is for most people yes you would not really notice but if you look closely you can see that there is slight pixelization but most importantly, the A3 2017 has very good looking colors. It's well balanced. You can also manually custom, customize the colors and we use the basic mode, which looks more balanced to our eyes, while the adaptive display looks more punchier, more vivid, but not that realistic. Now the A3 2017 also comes with a premium feature in the form of always on display always on display is something that was available on the S7 and it's a neat feature to have but it also drains a lot of battery. The good news about the new A3 2017 however is that it has very good battery life, more on that later, and it has the new Grace user interface by Samsung. Now we've been waiting a long time to say that Samsung's TouchWiz looks and feels great and that time has come. Samsung's new Grace user interface feels great. It is very functional, very clean, very tidy and very uniform in terms of looks. Even the settings menu is well organized. You can easily make your way around. There's search almost everywhere. It's a very convenient interface. But unfortunately, the new A3 2017 runs on Android 6.0 Marshmallow, and this is quite a letdown. Now, this does not really affect the daily performance of the device much, but keep in mind that it's an affordable phone. So this means that it will not get updated on day one, it likely it will take months to get updated to newer versions, and it's already shipping with an year-old version of Android. This is definitely a drawback, and we hope Samsung addresses this in future devices and the phone also has a couple nice nice tricks up its sleeve like this device maintenance uh, tool right here that allows you to just optimize your device better and if you have that one or two apps that might be draining your battery you can just go here and uh, uh, see which ones are they and um, just get that better per better performance out of your uh, handset Fortunately, the A3 2017 only ships with 16 gigabytes of storage, which is barely enough, but you have a micro SD card slot and we, we're glad it's there. We recommend everyone get at least 32 gigabytes on top of that storage. This will allow you to save your uh, files, your images and videos, and will just make your phone faster because the number one reason why your phone slows down is usually it runs out of memory very quickly. Now we also quickly showed you the keyboard. This is one of the excellent aspects of the new A3. Samsung phones have an excellent keyboard that looks great and is very fast for typing. In terms of performance, we're now playing a game which runs well on this 720p display. And we're actually happy that Samsung went with this display because performance is very decent. Now it's not great, 
This is not a phone for gamers, but it manages to do a decent job. And in daily performance, there is a very slight slowdown. It's not lag, but the moment you press an app icon, it just takes an extra moment to start the application. And this is a little bit noticeable, but it's not a huge drawback. And unless you're really obsessed over performance, you probably would not mind it. And in terms of gaming performance and the chip here, we have an octa-core chip with eight A53 cores running at 1.6 gigahertz. Now, switching over from those technicalities to the camera. As you can see, the camera barely sticks out of the back and uh, it's a surprisingly good camera. Now it supports the neat dual click shortcut to quickly launch the camera and you have the new camera up here on this uh, new A3 which is a very clean and free of clutter experience that looks and feels great. Now uh, you also have a pro mode that allows you to tweak all sorts of settings but unless you really want to achieve something very specific you probably don't need it. So uh, what can you do here? You can just go into video or photos with one click. This is convenient. You also have, have some filters and the overall quality of the images is very nice, especially in daylight. You have very lively colors, decent dynamics. Everything looks very, very good for such an affordable phone. But in low light, you can see that the phone lacks stabilization and the capability to produce a sharp image. And in terms of video, you have only 1080p video recording, which is very shaky. The phone does not have optical or any other uh, visible form of stabilization. So videos turn out shaky. Now you also have that side position audio speaker. That sounds surprisingly good. It's also hard to muffle, so it's great to have there. And the best thing about the new A3 2017 is that it's an absolute monster in terms of battery life. Now in real life testing, we get around two days, which is more than most phones. And even on flagships, we get around one day and here we get two and sometimes even three days with more moderate use. And overall for its price of just 320 euro, the A3 2017 is certainly a great deal, especially if you buy it on a carrier where you get a further discount. It's one cute compact phone with a great battery life a good looking display and what more can you want for a full-on review with all of our tests make sure to go to phonearena.com and check it out as always thanks for watching